Hey, I'm Zach Callison, and I play Steven on Steven Universe. And I'm Tom Sharpley, and I play Greg on Steven Universe. Oh my gosh, so I'm talking to the son and the dad here at Comic-Con. Is this your first year coming? Uh, first year on a panel, but I did come last year. Oh, you came last year. Did you come just as part of Steven Universe or just to explore Comic-Con? Uh, Cartoon Network was doing a preview panel with Clarence, Uncle Grandpa, and Steven on one panel, and Rebecca and, and Ian were doing a kind of a sneak peek for the show, and I came to attend that. Oh wow, that is so much fun. So how much fun is it voicing Steven and Greg? It is a blast. This is one of my favorite shows that I've ever done, and we've been working on it for a long time now, and just being in every week and, and seeing the same people, doing all these fun, crazy episodes, that's, that's what makes the show for me. How about you? I love it. It's so much fun, and it's, the scripts are so great, and you just get to kind of come in and join the world that, that they all create, and it's, it's just the best time. So what's been your favorite episode in the first season? Uh, of the ones we've seen so far, probably Tiger Millionaire. Tiger Millionaire is a really, really fun one because we get to see a side of Steven that we haven't seen before. He's, he gets a little bit mean, uh, gets in Lars's face a little bit. You couldn't afford it. That's one of my, my favorite lines so far. Uh, just a really fun episode in general. Oh, cool. What about you? What's been your favorite? I still like the, uh, the what's it, laser light cannon? Is that what? Yeah. yeah, where I have to sing one of the songs and I've done a lot of singing since then now I feel like I should put an album out of stuff then someday they'll realize I can't actually sing but yes, you can. doing that was fun to get to sing a song that that they wrote that was such a and then to hear it played back as if it was through a radio was weird, weird and and fun so you guys are here at comic-con you guys get to be on your first real panels mm -hmm. Have you guys gotten it? Did you guys just get in, or were you here yesterday so you got to see some of the people running around? I ran around yesterday and went to some, some panels, bought some stuff on the exhibit hall. So this is a normal Comic Con experience. How about yeah. You? I got in Thursday night and then went and walked around yesterday and saw a couple panels and grabbed some free comic books from people who knew who I was, <laughs> which is still an open offer. Everybody, that offer is not expired yet. I will take your free stuff. Okay, free stuff for him. Not for all him. All the time. Free stuff for him, uh, too. Uh, He's cute as a button. 50% off for, for him. 50% off. Yes. So did you guys get to see any cool cosplayers? Yeah, there have been a few Stevens walking around. Um, and besides that, I'm a big video game fan. I've seen quite a few of those. Uh, League of Legends, uh, World of Warcraft, all those. And did you run up to your little mini-me's? Or were they big me's? Uh, the, they were they were about my size actually. Oh, they were. Um, they're very, very, many varying sizes. Steven is a relatively simple cosplay. You just got to get the shirt with the stars. So I think that's why a lot of people jumped on it. Did you tell them, hey, I'm Steven, and take a photo with them? I didn't. No. Oh my God! You have to photo bomb. Ma maybe today. Oh, okay. Now, uh, yesterday I was kind of out of it. I just got back from a long trip, so oh. I, I was very dazed walking around yesterday. Wow! Look at all the pretty colors. <laughs> I saw a bunch of guys dressed like Greg, but then it turns out I wasn't at the convention. I was at a Pizza Hut, and so they were just eating at a place. So it was. Then I went over to the convention and I saw saw a guy. I guess I saw some bloody Teletubbies. Was kind of nice, like they had beaten each other up, <laughs> like with. And then uh, I also saw Darth Vader in a three-piece suit, which was kind of nice. I kind of like the ones like that. So. So if you guys were going to cosplay for next year, what would you cosplay as? I, I what would I, I don't know. I guess maybe I'll be a hobbit. hobbit? <laughs> how about you? I don't know how I'd pull it off, but it would probably be Zach from League of Legends, because we, we share a name. and It'd be impossible, though, because he's a big ball of goo, but I'd try. You can do a big ball of goo. Yeah, I got him right here in my, uh, <laughs> my badge. I bought a... Oh my gosh, you are form. so funny. You do like that. Oh my gosh. How old are you? I'm 16. Oh my gosh, you're very tall for 16, aren't you? Yeah, the, everybody was saying how much I grew while I was gone. I was out of town for a month and I came back even taller. <laughs> <laughs> to be young and just grow and sprout overnight, that doesn't happen for anyone at a certain age. in the wrong <laughs> direction. I'm sprouting overnight <laughs> this way. So, do you guys get to go to the Cartoon Network building in Burbank all the time? That's where we record the episodes. Oh, that is where you record. Although, I'm in New York, but when I'm in L.A., I'll go by and say hi to everybody and 
if I can record it with them there, I'll, I would always like to do it that way. But yeah. Have you guys gotten any chance to see any fan art that people have sent into Cartoon Network? Yeah, um, at the studio and online as well. Um, people send it to Rebecca. She has a Tumblr, and um, people post fan art. And even before the show came out, um, with the old art from the pilot, people would draw that and put it in. And it was amazing how many people latched onto the show before it had even come out. Yeah, it's crazy seeing people because because they care about it. It's exciting to see how much they care to where they go and and do their own versions of stuff. And Rebecca sent me links to things. And it's just, um, yeah, it's really flattering and super exciting that people are that into it. You guys should, like, say, could someone send me a little something, something, like a, a painting, a T-shirt or something? What do you, what, if you could ask your fans, what would it be? Uh, hmm, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe Steven dressed up as Zach from League of Legends, like I said before. <laughs> You love League of Legends. Yeah. You just want to combine it Be with great, everything. A great crossover. I'm, I'm counting on you guys for that. You heard him cross League of Legends and Steven Universe. What about you? I guess I see Greg dressed as uh, Thor. <laughs> How about that? That okay. would be awesome. Sure. Be yeah. Cool. Okay, fans. You, they have their orders in. Let's send this to them right now. For that. That's perfect. Well, because the, <laughs> the helmet, you don't know what's on top. Yeah. It covers up the bald spot. This is the flowing locks come out the back. You don't know he's missing the upstairs. Perfect. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I know. That's why I said it. Okay. I, I expect some gifts out of this real soon. And you guys can hook me up if you want, anytime you want. Sure. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking with me. Congrats on the renewal of Steven Universe and being part of Cartoon Network. Thank you. Have a good time at Comic-Con this year. Thanks, likewise. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. You're so cute. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you. That was awesome. So nice. Thank you for that.